Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all keeping well and welcome to my best ever Football Manager 2018 tactic video. Now, in the second episode of my Do It For GG series here on my Football Manager 2018 Beta Save for Juventus, a lot of you were asking me for my tactics so I thought I'd just bring you a video and just kind of go through as much of this as I can. Now, you won't be able to see my cursor because obviously I'm not playing on a PC, I'm playing on my tablet. Uh, so obviously I will try and make this as easy as possible for you guys. Uh, we'll be going in a little bit more depth obviously of the mentality and the player instructions and so on and so forth but hopefully you can just get a little bit of an idea of the overall formation and kind of how to set it up. Now obviously we're going to be starting at the back with Buffon in goal. Um, nothing really fancy about this role, he's just a goalkeeper, set to defend. Nothing fancy at all, no extra team instructions of that one. Nice and simple. I don't know if many people actually do play with different instructions on for the goalkeepers. Uh, it'll be interesting to know. Then on the left back, obviously, we've got Sandro. I did not mean to click onto his profile. Um, oh, great. This is going absolutely swimmingly, as always. So we've got Sandro playing on an inverted wing back. Not obviously his natural position. We've got him set automatic. Obviously, he's going to be cutting inside with the ball, crossing, um, crossing less often, sitting narrower, and obviously roaming in from that position. And obviously, you can see there is a natural fullback wing back and complete wing back. Obviously, I'm not playing him in any of them natural positions. Uh, but he seems to be doing really, really well and it seems to kind of actually suit his game. He's got decent attributes, so kind of go around that as well. So, obviously, with Sandro, he's going to be playing alongside that on that left hand side with Douglas Costa as well. And he's going to be cutting inside, though. So, you can see Costa's the, the, the winger there. He's going to be obviously sitting kind of hugging that touch line. And you're going to be seeing kind of Sandro. Um, how can I do this? I suppose. Uh, I kind of want to show you where he's going to be running into. Um, here we go. Uh, that's the kind of spaces that he'll be he'll be kind of looking to get the ball kind of going into this kind of, you know, run if he's got the ball kind of thing. So that's the kind of space he'll be looking to exploit um, there. Along the back, obviously, you've got uh, one as a central defender, just as a stopper, just you know there you go just <laughs> just dribbles less with the ball basically just gets it. he's there just to stop the ball from going in a goal old classic style defender just defend 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 do nothing else just stop the ball from going into the goal sitting alongside him we've got a ball playing defender set to defend as well so obviously he's going to be taking slightly more risky uh riskier passes he's going to stick into that position though still he's still a defender but he's going to be getting the ball and hopefully looking to kind of you know uh, get the movement started from the back playing nice risky well not overly hopefully risky passes but to get the ball started and uh as getting the ball at the pitch the right hand side we've got a wing back it's set to defend again um he's basically just going to be looking to overlap really so he's going to look to go around the outside of Bernadeschi um uh, and just looking to kind of obviously get round as much as he can do um but obviously set the defense so it's not an attacking attacking role just as and when he can in the defensive midfield role we've got the segundo vol yeah that thing on the screen right there set to support now this one for me is kind of like a mixture of a deep line playmaker and uh, i suppose a box-to-box -box midfielder really um he is a player that kind of i've got no special instructions added to this one either uh, but he kind of just does that role where he's very good at passing the ball get very good vision all that kind of thing as well but he also has got a good work rate as well so he does get kind of cover quite a lot of ground in that role he's predominantly set to defend but obviously, kind of when he sees, you know, defense isn't always always uh, isn't always about staying back. Sometimes it is about looking in front of you and seeing the space in front of you and defending that space. So you know, to, to block out through balls and so on and so forth. So it's not always about sitting deep with that role in in particular. I've kind of messed up once more again. Hope you thought I've learned by now that that's not how you do it. We've then got uh, my attacking playmaker just set to support a perfect role here for Panjic. Uh, shoots left off and he's kind of looking to kind of fill that gap right in front of him there. That's why that gap is there. He's looking to kind of exploit all of that kind of space uh, in and around that area. On the uh, right, let's sorry, left hand side, we've got a winger, as I mentioned before. He's just going to be looking to hug that touch line there on that left hand side. Yeah, get crossed into the box. Um, crosses from the bylines get further forward so basically just stay out wide um dribble 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 and then just cross the ball just cross the ball as much as he can into into the middle and now this is the only thing that i was a bit concerned about obviously with Higuain being there not being the best header of the ball but it seems to be working quite well on the opposite side we've got the inside forward he's set to support as well uh, so he's going to be looking to obviously cut inside here so he, that's why that space that's why Higuain is kind of off piece there he's kind of sent to that kind of left hand side the only issue you've got is got Diabala playing as an advanced playmaker 
he possibly could have got in his way. However, because I've got him set to support, he does hold his position a little bit more uh, regularly than I'm trying to obviously show the whole position, but I realize I can't highlight it. Can I? No, I can't highlight it. Um, because he's set to that support role, he will be holding his position a bit more, not actually naturally running into that kind of space and forward it, which should leave enough space there for Benedeschi to kind of cut inside in that inside forward role. Uh, and obviously it just suits kind of what we've got in Diabala there as well. Uh, up top we've got Higuain. Uh, he obviously is just playing as an... I've done it wrong once more. This video is going crackingly well. Uh, he's just set to an advance forward attacking. This just seems to suit this formation really, really well. Also just works to Higuain's strengths as well. So you may have to alter that role just slightly. Tweak it a bit for depending on who you've got playing up front. As I mentioned though, uh, Diabala is kind of going to be that kind of uh, supporting role. We've hopefully been actually kind of going up there to almost support Higuain. So when we've got Costa out on that left-hand side uh, looking to get the balls in, we've got at least got two, if not three players in the box at any given time. Uh, now obviously going on to the kind of you know, mentality, you can see they've got it on control. Um, they've got it set to structured as well. Team instruction. Uh, I do actually kind of flip between control and standard sometimes as well, uh, depending on obviously the match type. Um, against the bigger team, sometimes I just go on standard. Um, how are we going to start on here? Right, uh, as you can see, I really wish you could obviously pick, uh, look for overlap on one side and then look for underlap or whatever it is on the other side. That would be really, really useful. But I've got a set uh, looking for overlap on there as well. It kind of contradicts you what I want it to do on one bit, but it seems to work kind of well. So we'll just run with that one. Uh, build up obviously got playing out defense with that one hopefully through that main ball playing defender however another defender is more than capable of doing it as well shorter passing just keeping the passing nice crisp i've got an abundance of players who are very good on the ball so uh, that one was key for me however i do go a little bit more direct if need be uh, closing down just as much as we can not fully but you know just as high as we can that in line with the higher line just seems to work really really well together just a high line pressing as much as we can playing out wide uh, and all that kind of good stuff as well um obviously looking to retain the possession this this just works really really well for me um and it just seems to be getting me some really, really good results. Even when I'm grinding out nil nils, uh, when I've, you know, I've, I've got um, certain things happening within the squad, I'm having to rotate and so on and so forth. Lots of injuries, obviously, on this year's FM, uh, and it just seems to still just work no matter kind of who I put into what position. So, guys, if you kind of want me to put this on the workshop, I might do. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to show your support by dropping a like on the video, share all your good stuff around on social media, and I'll speak to you legends soon.